today was just not my day. And scraped all the back of my car. Ugh. I finally found my thing. He requested unhealthy cupcakes. Right, stop putting your hands in my pants. You had a good birthday? Wow. Good morning everyone and welcome to another lockdown vlog. It is Monday and I'm currently sitting in my car about to go for my PT session. I feel like I've vlogged this once before but if you're not aware I'm currently doing some PT sessions with my friend Jess at her gym embodied coaching. We're obviously not allowed to train indoors at the moment so she set everything up outdoors and we've been doing one-on-one -on -one training and it's been so nice because honestly I'm not very self-motivated to train and go to the gym and just work out at home. So getting out for an hour of exercise and being trained by my friend has been really, really lovely. And obviously we are wearing masks while we're doing it as well. But yes, that is how I am starting my Monday morning. But I just wanted to start off the vlog and welcome you guys to a new video. Angel boy, don't say that. Never gonna stand a chance, heartbreak like a sad romance. Said that you'd never come back again. Been three days, now you're back again. But I'm not your man, no, I'm not your man. I can blow your mind like woe. Why be faithful when you got hoes? Drop top and off we go. We gon' pop off, that's how we roll. Your perfect face, not to mention. Your perfect body and leggings. The way you move while you're dancing. got home I obviously went to the gym as you guys saw which was really good and then I actually popped into the dentist on my way home because I had to go and pick up my retainer if you watched my last weekly vlog you'll know what I'm talking about but basically I haven't been wearing my retainer for quite some time now because it's got a crack through it so my dentist has made me up a new one and I just went to pick it up so Hopefully I'll be much better at wearing this one. I paid about $260 for this, I think, and my insurance covered a bit of it. But yeah, I'm really happy about finally getting my hands on a new retainer. But another reason I wanted to whip out the camera is because I've had a few parcels arrive, so I thought we could do a little unboxing. Okay, so first of all, I've got a package here from Mr. Consistent, and Mr. Consistent sells cocktails. And it's so cool because they're literally in a bottle just like this. So you can make them easily at home. So they've sent me out three. First of all, we've got a margarita cocktail mix. Then we have a Cosmo. Then finally, we've got the Sours mix. So I don't know when we're going to crack that open, but it's actually Brayden's birthday this week on Thursday, I believe. It's the 22nd, but if I'm honest, I don't know what day of the week that is this week because all the days are blurring together, but his birthday is this week. So maybe we can crack one of these open then or like on the weekend or something. Then I actually got sent a backup of my favorite perfume. It's the Ascada Candy Love. It honestly smells delicious. And then I believe we actually have some more perfumes in here from a brand called Who Is Elijah. And they've actually given you guys a discount code, which is Ella15 which I'm assuming gives you 15% off, but they're cruelty free and they have gender neutral scents. This is what it looks like. Let's give it a little spray. What is this blue stuff on my hand? Brayden, I think your pen's leaking. Mmm, that's super fresh. Anyway, thanks for watching my little unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go and have a shower now and get ready for the day. And then I've got quite a few calls today. I know I'm gonna call Jessie this morning just to have a catch up and chat with her. And I think we're also gonna do like a little bit of a brainstorm because we've been loving doing that lately and just like sharing our ideas and kind of just bouncing off of each other. So I think we're gonna chat to her this morning. And then I actually have a very exciting meeting this afternoon about something that I can't tell you guys about just yet, but I'm really excited about it. That is the plan for my day. But anyway, I'm gonna have a shower now. <laughs> a little bit of a vlogception today. Literally, we've just been brainstorming business ideas for like the past hour. Mm -hmm. And it's been very successful very for both of us. Inspiring. I've just finished a really exciting meeting. Like it honestly went so well and 
I'm just so excited for this little project that I'm doing at the moment. And it's involved me talking to a few different people and collaborating ideas with them. And it's honestly been so fun. So I can't wait to tell you guys what my idea is and what I'm currently working on. And it's just like so exciting to have something else that I'm working on other than YouTube, just because I've been doing this for seven years now, well, nearly seven years, and I haven't really worked on any other projects. And I feel like I finally found my thing, my point of difference, and something that I feel really passionate about. Oh, I'm just so happy at the moment. I feel really energized and inspired, and I'm really excited. If you have any ideas of what I might be working on, let me know, because I'd love to know what your guesses are. But to be honest, there's a couple of things that I want to work on, but there's one big thing that I'm doing at the moment. So stay tuned to find out more, but now I'm gonna do some emails and just catch up on a little bit of work before I chat to my friends Emma and Sienna this afternoon. Hopefully they haven't forgotten that we're meant to be having a FaceTime because we all keep forgetting just because like, we just don't know what the day is or the time is because we're in lockdown and it's just so easy to forget to do things like that. So I might message them to remind them and then I'll chat to them in a little bit. Hello everyone, it is Tuesday and I had every intention of picking up the camera today and continuing on the weekly vlog. But in all honesty, today was just not my day at all. And I think we're four weeks into lockdown now. And honestly, I've been pretty good so far mentally. And I'm very surprised by that. I thought that I would have struggled a lot more. So I'm really grateful for that. I think I've just been keeping myself very busy with like project ideas and going out for walks and stuff. And then today, I just did not feel myself at all. And I think the problem was that I just spent way too much time on my phone and I just could not stop. Like I was just scrolling and scrolling and it got me overthinking as well and kind of in a comparison trap a little bit. I kept telling myself that I should be doing this and should be doing that because I was watching all of these TikToks and Instagram reels thinking that maybe I should be doing that because that's the way the world's going. That's the way kind of social media is going. Everyone's growing on reels and TikTok. And I was putting this pressure on myself to do those things, but in all honesty, I'm not really passionate about making that kind of content. Like I love watching it, but I don't like watching it when I feel like I'm watching it to try and find inspiration to then create my own TikToks and Reels. I know some of you guys probably can't relate to this unless you create content yourself, but there is quite a lot of pressure sometimes because social media is constantly changing and updating and you're expected to kind of keep up with the trends to be relevant. But if you do that, sometimes it means that you lose sight of what you actually enjoy doing. And to be honest, I enjoy doing YouTube videos. I enjoy like podcasting, which I haven't done in a long time. And like there's certain aspects of social media that I like, but there's also certain things that I don't personally enjoy that much. And that's not to say that I won't ever enjoy doing those things, but at the moment, like they're not something that I'm super passionate about doing. And I think I kind of need to let go of the expectation of having to do it all because I've been putting so much pressure on myself to be able to do everything because if I don't do everything, then I'm not like a proper content creator. I think overall, I'm just like finding it really hard to know like what to post over on Instagram, especially since we're in lockdown because it's really hard to like create content since we're literally just able to create content in are four walls. I posted on Instagram before kind of talking about how I was feeling and so many of you guys responded to my story and said that you can relate and that you've been overthinking a lot as well because honestly like we've had way too much time to think in lockdown. One of my friends replied and was like I can completely relate and I think it's because we haven't had enough stimulation so our brain has too much time to think and therefore then we're getting down because we're thinking of things that we wouldn't usually think about. Oh, it's not healthy at all. So I think the moral of the story is that during these times, you really do need to keep busy and have not so much of a routine because I think like you shouldn't put pressure on yourself either, but I think that you should have some habits that you do every single day, whether that be going for a walk or making yourself like nice meals and just stuff to kind of give you a little bit of normality. And I went for a walk this afternoon and that made me feel a lot better because I think I just had cabin fever. And then I had a three hour nap 
and that is so unlike me, but I was just feeling exhausted and I just lay on this couch, slept it out, woke up and it was pitch black. I was like, oh my God, how is it dark already? I've honestly just given myself permission today to take the day off because if you put all this pressure on yourself to try and be productive and try and turn the day around, sometimes that can just make you feel worse. I feel like sometimes you just need to surrender to the fact that it's not my day today. You know, I'm gonna give in and I'm gonna just do stuff for me and then try again tomorrow. And that's the mindset that I've had to have. So I just wanted to come on here and chat about that quickly in case any of you guys related, because I know that a few of you responded to my story saying that you've been not feeling too great as well. And honestly, we're all in this together. And one thing that I can say is that connecting with people really does help. Like honestly, you guys replying to my stories and just chatting to my friends has really helped me just in this last hour. And it made me realize, well, I really should have talked about this and messaged someone when I wasn't feeling great because everyone's feeling the same right now. And that's the one thing that we can be comforted by, I guess. So don't be afraid to reach out to anyone. But that's my little pep talk. We are going to chill out and watch some TV now, but I'll hopefully pick up the camera again tomorrow and continue on this vlog. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I am feeling so much better today and so much more like myself. This morning I got up and went out for a walk with Jesse, and I feel like that just started my day off so much better. I find that if I don't get out in the morning and go and get some fresh air then the rest of my day doesn't go that well just because I haven't had the time to clear my head and just kind of break up the day because if I don't get out of the house and it just feels like the days roll on and roll on and there's no real indication that it is a new day, it's a fresh start. Yeah it really cleared my head this morning and I felt a lot Lot happier and a lot more productive so I've honestly been just working all day on some projects which has been really exciting the projects that I've been working on have kind of made me want to do a graphic design course and just learn more about graphic design myself because I honestly think it would be such a useful skill to have and to know how to do so since my eyes were literally glued to my laptop all day I didn't pick up the camera but it's now 5 p.m and I'm actually heading out to go to the supermarket to pick up some things because it's Brayden's birthday tomorrow and I really want to make him something nice because since we're in lockdown there's not really too much we can do so I'm thinking of making Brayden some cupcakes for his birthday because he's not really a cake person he doesn't really like birthday cake but he likes cupcakes they honestly seem like the same thing to me so I don't really understand that but that's what he wants so I'm gonna go and get some things to make that and then some other little bits for tomorrow just so I can make the day special for him even though he is working I honestly haven't made cupcakes in so long so I don't know how I'll go especially with icing them but it'll be fun anyway and I'm sure he'll like it I've just got home and I've locked myself away in the bedroom because I'm gonna show you a few of the things that I got for his birthday not that it's really like that big of a surprise but I just feel like I shouldn't show him you know also just wanted to say after the last vlog clip I turned off the camera turned on the car was ready to go and I ended up underestimating how much I needed to turn the corner and scraped my car along the pole that was next to my car so there are like these cement pillars that are next to my car and bear in mind I have never done this before but just goes to show I was in fairyland, which is not good at all. And I was pulling out and then I started turning and I started turning too soon and scraped all the back of my car along the pole. And I've never done anything like this before. Well, not in a very, very, very long time anyway. So then I was really worried and parked the car and went and got Brayden to come and have a look. And it's basically just scratched the paint, but still that can be quite expensive to replace even if the paint's just scratched. So I'll insert a clip that I filmed to show you guys what the damage is like, but I'm just so annoyed at myself. Like that could have been prevented and Ugh, I mean, it's just one of those things that happens. It was an accident. Thank goodness it wasn't another car that I scraped because that would have been a lot worse, but still very, very annoying. So for Brayden's cupcakes, I went ahead and bought a packet mix from Greens. It's just this vanilla cupcake mix, which I know might seem a bit lazy, but 
I honestly don't really know how to make cupcakes. I know I could learn, but I thought I might as well just get this to make sure I get it right. And I know Brayden likes this kind of thing as well. He requested unhealthy cupcakes, but hopefully this lives up to a standard. And then got some Betty Crocker vanilla frosting, which is like the best thing ever. And I feel so nostalgic having this because I used to always have it when I was younger. But even though this comes with icing, I just thought that this would be nicer. <laughs> but then we got some sprinkles because I know Brayden will appreciate the sprinkles some candles some cupcake tins and some piping bags and then finally I got a birthday card and some chocolate he loves white chocolate so I got this one by Milky Bar and it's the cookies one so hopefully he likes that I also have got him a present which hasn't arrived yet but yeah I feel like they're just some little things that will make his day a bit more special tomorrow so we're gonna go ahead and make dinner and then we'll probably make the cupcakes later tonight <music> his own cupcakes having a bit too much fun <laughs> oh they look great <laughs> they actually don't look too bad to be fair Braden's making sure to fill in every single little bit of a gap and now we've got to pop on some sprinkles it's gonna go everywhere guys he dropped three of them there were three of your cupcakes i guess you're just gonna have to eat them off the floor is that gross it's just our feet it's up to you really by the way i just realized this isn't even gonna fit in Oh. Maybe we'll, see. well, you know what? It will probably all fit on the plate now. We've lost three, so we can transfer it onto a plate that it will all fit on. You set my world on fire. I don't know what I do without you. You make me smile. What is it that you do? everyone I've actually put on some normal clothes today which feels really strange I feel like I live in my active wear or my tracky sets so this is really nice for a change and I've also popped some makeup on because I've actually been getting some content this morning and I've been quite productive to be honest I'm really really happy about it because as you know I was feeling a little bit down the other day about like my Instagram content and just felt like I couldn't keep up with the trends and just didn't really know what I wanted to post and I've just kind of tried to stay true to myself and I just took a few photos around the apartment and I've had a lot of fun with it. I like how the photos have turned out. So yeah, go and follow me on Instagram if you're not already because I'm putting an effort. I'm telling myself I need to put an effort. Also, as you guys know, it is Brayden's 24th birthday today, which is so exciting. He's currently working away in the office right now, but we got up a little bit earlier than usual today and went to see the sunrise and just did a really nice walk, got a coffee. It was such a great way to start off his birthday and it was just nice because it meant we had some time together before he started work. And then we came home, I made him a bacon and egg roll, we watched some TV and then he's got stuck in to work now. So even though he's working, I'm still going to try and make the day special. I honestly think the day is just going to revolve around food. So now the plan is to go and pick up some sushi for lunch. So I'm going to go to Kanji and get us some sushi. Wondering if thousands of miles away, the sky is just as blue. It's as if I'm stuck in yesterday when I'm thinking of you. Okay, so your surfboard's still on the way, so... Chocolate and a card is what's going to do for now. This is your chocolate, isn't it? No. Is that why you bought it? No, this is your this is favorite you. chocolate. No. I've never had this chocolate before. You love Milky Way. The birthday boy is finished for the day and we have some fun plans tonight. So, Brayden, stop putting your hands in my pants. I'm just going to say it. He does this all the time and it throws me off. But we are going to have dinner with Brayden's family 
but over Zoom because we're in lockdown and we can't see his family. So his mum's made like a conference call and everything. Mm. She's set the invitation and we are going to hop on there in about half an hour. Actually, probably like 15 minutes or so now. Probably very soon. Probably as soon as you leave to get the pizza, I'll probably just hop on and have it. Yeah. So we're having pizza for dinner and we thought we would make ourselves a cocktail to celebrate. So as you will have seen, we got sent some cocktail mixes from Mr. Consistent and Brayden's chosen the Sours Mix. I'm not really sure what this will taste like, but I Doesn't feel like that would be pretty fun to do anyway. So all we have to do is literally mix it with some vodka, shake it up, then we're good to go and we can make a cocktail at home. Although I don't think we've got a cocktail shaker thing. We use a good spoon. <laughs> We're not really doing it properly. But I we swear don't. I've got a cocktail shaker somewhere. It's probably in your family's house. Yeah, I think it might be. Also, Brayden's parents got a birthday cake delivered for him, which was really sweet. It's a honeycomb with white chocolate cake. Mm. So we're gonna light that and sing happy birthday virtually, which is a bit cute. Anyway, have you had a good birthday? I have. Yeah, even though you've had to work. Oh yeah, it's been good. Like, yeah. there's not really much else we can really do at the moment. Yeah, you know? we did go out in his lunch break for a walk again and he got another coffee, so that was nice. But, I mean, honestly, it's been a good day. I'm gonna go get the pizza now because we're running late. You know what, I'm gonna leave you to make the cocktails and you can do a time lapse. Guys, we are now making the Cosmo because we realized that the other one needed whiskey, not vodka, and this one needs vodka, so. This is the next best option. Uh, I actually think I'll like this one better. Ella to be honest. has the vodka. Yeah. I have the vodka. And it's vodka. pink. Yeah, it's pink. That should work. Okay, see ya. Right. I'll be back. Bye bye. Wait. <laughs> I also forgot my key. next day and I just wanted to say that I feel like I haven't really been the best weekly vlogger this week. This has just been a very chatty vlog but honestly some weeks are like that and this week I felt like I needed to have a lot of deep conversations with you guys and just get things off of my chest because my emotions have been all over the place to be honest since being in lockdown. I have good days where I feel really great and then I also have days which aren't great as well and I think it's important to acknowledge that and acknowledge the fact that you can't have the highs without the lows and that it's completely normal to feel all over the place during this time especially if you're in lockdown so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this mood diary of mine I feel like that's basically what this is I just document how I'm feeling each day and share it with you guys but it's so nice just having a community to share these things with and I hope that it maybe is of comfort to you guys if you're also in lockdown also, before I end off the video, I just wanted to say that I hope you guys like the little graphics that I use throughout the video. You may have noticed them when it was the start of a new day. So I have like day of the week graphics and then I also have some like, comment and subscribe graphics and I got them from a company called ITTO Studios. I'm not sure if they're pronounced like that or if it's it to studios, but they kindly sent me some to use in my videos and I think they look so nice and have made it look a lot more professional. So if you're a fellow creator, definitely go and check them out. I'll leave them down below. It was so easy just to download them and then drag them into my video. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. But if you did enjoy this weekly vlog, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.